You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What is going on, NASCAR Diecast Collectors and Diecast Reviews on YouTube? This is Original Big Brian here, and welcome to another NASCAR Diecast Review on my YouTube channel. And today, this is going to be a uh, first ever 124 review um, for this specific driver that I'm starting to root for a lot, thanks to that Menards car in the PBG. So you guys probably know what driver I'm about to talk about. <laughs> Ryan Blaney guys and this is actually my first ever 124 Ryan Blaney review and also my first 2018 124 elites review I do not plan on buying the ARC for this year because the quality is pretty shitty all right I mean I can't really censor that guys it's really bad I'm not paying $54 for a plastic chassis so I went on my way and paid nearly $90 for this car from Lionel Racing which probably won't do again Probably might do for the Truex race wins are coming out for 2018. But um, if you guys already seen all these other cars I reviewed, this is one other car that I had not reviewed yet. I was going to plan on the 164 scale, but I might as well and showcase both of them because I love this car very much. You guys know I love the Menards car. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start the diecast review on Ryan Blaney's 2018 Can Am dual win that he won at Daytona. I believe this was the first dual win that happened, and then Chase Elliott won the second dual win. But you see right here, here's the new pack. Well, I think this is the same packaging that they had from uh, last year, but of course, some features are missing on the Elites. It's basically uh, the, what the 124 RCs were last year, with just a little bit of Elite features, and not the tethers. They removed the tethers for probably, you know, to cut down on cost. As you can tell, I'm pretty much of a rookie when it comes to these 124 boxes because uh, I don't know what direction I was going. But uh, if you guys are curious what DIN number I have, well, uh, these elites are actually pretty rare, guys. You can take a look at my camera. It does not want to focus. This is 1 out of 253. So um, the elites are pretty um, hard to come by for 2018 since, you know, they mass produce the ARCs like crazy. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and start the unboxing and take a closer look at the Ryan Blaney Candem Duel Win. Alrighty guys, we got this diecast outfits box, and before we get things started on this NASCAR diecast review, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that comes with this. So, like usual with the, with the uh, Lionel Racing stuff, we still got them promoting their Lionel Racing Garage, which we all know, aka also known as the ultimate source for NASCAR Authentics Leaks. Got a return form just in case if I decide I don't want to buy 124s ever again, so yeah, that's useless stuff. And let's get on to the certificate authenticity, very shiny, hopefully I'm not blinding you guys. Wow, that is very bright. Probably shouldn't have my flash on, but I have this on on purpose because the Menards car deserves to be bright. But um, yeah, this is a certificate of authenticity, so it just shows that, you know, you have a legit diecast from the RCCA. And without a race win, guys, we also do get the race winner card. Do not mean to shine that in Ryan Blaney's uh, uh, face. But uh, yeah, guys, pretty cool looking uh, card that we got right here. Of course, this is the only time that Ryan Blaney actually won in the Menards car with the red numbers. Because, um, as you guys know, he actually, and this is actually a far more accurate version as well um, for diecast that he has run. Because the Menards uh, Duracell car that was the first Ryan Blaney car that was released, um, this never ran. It ran with the white numbers, which is very unfortunate because now this car is actually inaccurate compared to all these other cars that have ran, um, including his Darn Storeback car, which is giving a wave eight. So, still a lot of cool Ryan Blaney diecaster review. I mean, it's a great time to be a Ryan Blaney fan, especially for starting out like myself. <laughs> well, I can think of the Menards and PBG car for that because they're the two reasons why they're the, they're the main two reasons why I got into being a Ryan Blaney fan because I'm already a big Team Penske fan um, for indie cars, so why not? But anyways, guys, I'm getting a little off topic. Back to the card, guys, if you guys want to read the rest of this, and here's the back of it. Um, pretty self-explanatory, but it was cool to see Ryan Blaney win in this uh, car because a lot of people love that Menards car, guys, including myself. Especially if you're an IndyCar fan, you will know that you will love this car. But back to the diecast, guys. Oh my god, this diecast is just beautiful. I mean, the bright dangle yellow really shows up very nice. And even the rims look so much nicer, guys, compared to the 164, which I'm going to show real quickly. Um, they get this lime green tint, which I don't like. Um, so the 124 really does its justice. I mean, I can't really, you know, blame that because that is going to be a little hard to replicate that, especially on a black wheel. Um, they got to paint over this compared to this is just a big plastic piece. So um, that's a result you get when you paint it over. So, you know, Lionel can't really do too much, but there's the quick look at the 164 if you guys want to see that. But I would recommend getting both, but I probably would recommend getting uh, the 124 version if you guys want a more accurate version. Plus, we do got the Monster Energy logos as well, and 
Yeah, just a lot more details. Plus, it's, it's an elite card, guys. I mean, you can't go wrong with elites, even though they're not really as good as what they were like last year. I mean, last year they were perfect. So there's 360 view of the car, guys. I'm as good as uh, talk more about this car. I mean, um, yeah, this um, this was actually a surprisingly really cool race version, guys, because uh, I, I I didn't think it was gonna look that well because Ryan Blaine doesn't do burnouts, which I do respect that. Um, he had that. Um, exact attitude when uh, he drove for Wood Brothers. So, you know, very, very classy guy. That's another reason why I think a lot of people are big Ryan Blaney fans because of just his classy attitude. So that, that that's just really cool that um, he didn't do a burnout. But Diecast still looks really good regardless, so um, as now we are going to get on to, uh, well, I'm going to show you guys the bottom, which is all metal compared to the ARCs, which are plastic. Um, well, besides this part and um, underneath where the drive shaft is, but everything else, guys, pure cold metal, which I love. Too bad we got paid nearly, what, like 90, I paid like 90 bucks from this car at Lionel Racing itself with the shipping and taxes, so yeah, it came down to like, what, like $91, so you guys want a really good detailed die cast, this is probably the only one because there was only 253 of these that are made, so, but without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and look at the closer details of this car. So, um, right here, guys, you can take a look, um, this car has a lot of dirt on it. <laughs> That's another reason why I like this car, because the dirt really shows up nice, as you guys see the fingerprints. Um, I mean, look at that, guys. Just like uh, his Pocono win from last year, guys, um, it's just, you know, all that dirt and rubber build up, and God who knows what else is. But this is also on the um, Daytona Aero package as well. You can see right there, just by the front. Too bad that there's no right height, uh, that the right height is still on this car, because, you know, Lionel can't really do that. But you can always do a chassis swap, and, you know, um, you know, mess with the uh, suspension parts on this diecast. But pretty cool looking front end that we got. So now we're gonna get on to the hood, which not really much to go into detail. I mean, still a pretty generic looking uh, hood that we got. So we are missing the hoses that are supposed to come out because there's little holes right here that shows where the hoods are. And of course, we do not have the tethers as well, guys. So that's a feature that we are missing for the elites, which is so unfortunate, but you can see why they cut down $20 for this car, even though these are basically the ARCs from last year with just a few little features, um, like the side mirror and such. But um, now let's get onto the side portion of this car. So starting from, um, you know, left to right. Stick right here, guys. Um, I mean, I already love the rims of this car. You can see the brake rotor and even uh, the tire itself, guys. We even got rubber buildup on the tires and even the lug nuts um, and the rims are colored. So really nice. I mean, let's take a look. We've got, you know, Team Fancy Squad right there. <laughs> so uh, it's a little details that count and I really like that. Um, plus, if you guys also notice that um, the steering wheels do turn, which they should, but if you guys look, the steering wheel does not turn anymore. So that is a feature that we are missing for this year for both versions. So that is so unfortunate, guys. I mean, you would think Lionel would, you know, put little details in these cars. But when you miss something like that, that's, you know, I, I, I it's not going to bug me. But just it's pretty unfortunate, guys, that I'm almost paying $90 for this car and we still don't have all the features. But, you know, what more can you do? But um, I'm not going to complain too much. I do love this car a lot. But there's all the contingencies right there. Uh, uh oh, got to cover that monster logo for any kids watching. <laughs> we got number 12, and there's Knopf Richmond Water Heaters. Uh, there's all the other sponsors that we got that are on the B post. And Ryan Blaney's name, Carlos Sile, Dex Imaging, Menards. And let's see, we got Peak, and we got a nice little uh, rubber buildup right there on the quarter panel. Um, I think that was when someone made contact with him. Probably Bubba Wallace, if I had to guess, because those two were racing pretty um, interest, were awfully racing pretty close. Well, then again, they are best friends, so I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, rest in peace to Fitzgerald as well. I heard that they're no longer on the Penske cars because some lawsuit that happened. Uh, let's get on to the top side portion of this car. You see right there, we also got the tear offs for the. Um, for the front windshield so nice little details um, with every elite we also get the two antennas that come with this so really nice um, but they do kind of slide off a little easily you got to watch out for this little part right here because that is very easy to lose I've, I've had some 2011 cars that almost lost that piece and man not so good um, we also got the roof flaps that do open on this car but you should take a look tetherless so pretty unfortunate but the roof flaps do stay you know pretty well there's not much plates in them like they were on my Truex reviews as we get going to the back of this car, guys, we also do got um, a little bit more rubber buildup, but 
only for the elites we got the decla that opens no tethers but you see right there a fuel cell is there um compared to the arc version which will not have a fuel cell even if you get this open guys you can't but you see right there we still got that problem with the spoiler it kind of sticks out a little bit at the corners um you know i can't complain as, as long as it's got an opening deck lit, that's all that matters. And look at this, guys. We got all these sponsors right here for Menards, which um, some of them look familiar. I mean, um, I, I probably use Duracell batteries. Um, Jack Links does sound pretty uh, nutritious. I mean, heck, I think I might go get some beef jerky after this diecast review. Um, reminding you guys to eat a snack when you watch these reviews, because I might talk a little bit. <laughs> and this is day number 105, and we got Ryan Blaney's uh, last name right on the back windshield, which looks really cool. And that's also what the 164 has getting on to the other side guys i mean sponsor wise it is exactly the same but um it's a lot more cleaner compared to um well besides the exhaust buildup that we got right there really nice looking um the wheels man i just i can't get enough of those yellow rims man they did a good job and you can really see the details like the brake rotor and the brake um caliber so really awesome i mean come from a car guy uh, like myself uh it's those little things that really matter and that, that, that's one thing I like about these elites, um, even though last year's are so much more better. Um, and uh, just take a look right there. A um, little more details that we got. I mean, sorry if the flash is in the way, but I really want you guys to look closely at this car because it's a little details that might get to you. I mean, look, look at that, guys. That is just beautiful. I love a nice looking race twin. And back to this side right here, I forgot to show this off to you guys as well, but on the Elite, they also got this little uh, side mirror as well. Um, so I'm going to get a closer look at that. It's right there, guys. So really nice. Um, that's an interesting angle. And now we're back to the, the best side of the car, guys. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, is there anything else I got to say about this car? Well, I mean, if you have $84 on you, get this car. It's way better than the ARC version. I mean, I understand the ARCs are more cheaper, but... If you want a high quality made diecast, this is the way to go. Sure, they're not as good at the as the elites from last year, like I just mentioned, but you know what, guys? This is the only time you can get a Ryan Blaney car like this, because I don't know if they're ever gonna have the red numbers back, which is so unfortunate. I mean, they gotta bring back the red numbers. I mean, Roger Penske, I love you, man, and congratulations on 500 wins, by the way. That is a great accomplishment for your team. But please, for the love of God bring back the red numbers i mean do i got to start a chant for this uh, diecast review hashtag bring back uh the bring back the red numbers um hey let's make that thing why not guys <laughs> but uh hope you guys enjoyed this nascar diecast review on ryan blaney's 2018 can am dual win car and for ford fusion and team penske um i sound like i'm doing an interview now <laughs> um if you guys enjoyed this review along with my other nascar diecast reviews then feel free to hit that subscribe button and make sure to comment if you guys like this and um, puts any more details on this review um so you guys can be entertained as i am so uh, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and wrap up this diecast review. And um, this has been a Rudge Vip Ride. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in another NASCAR diecast review.